Welcome back. Let's understand why we need to create variables in a mule flow in this video. In previous session, we created a variable and we able to extract this variable by using vars dot variable name. According to our case study in register COVID case, we are going to make a database call to insert the incoming COVID payload into the database. I kindly request you don't worry about this database operation now. To showcase this behavior of the payload, I have used this database call. But in coming sessions, we are going to work with this database operations in detail. For now, excuse me on this operation. So, the behavior of payload is right whenever we use any system based connector after that we will lose the payload the system connector outcome will be injected into the payload and the payload we have before to it right we will lose after it here system based connector in the sense we discussed in earlier sessions right we use rest services or jms or ftp our file to make the integrations correct and also system based connectors so whenever we use those type of system based connectors here the outcome of this connector will override into the payload let's see that behavior first let me go ahead and make the request request came if i say next next before this database call, if we look at payload, we still have the incoming payload, right? But once I say next, this record will be inserted to the database. Immediately we can see the payload has overrided with outcome of this database connector. We see, right, the payload changed to some Java based object. Always the database call gives us a java based response as a outcome then question comes right if we wanted to make use of this payload further suppose right now we are inserting to the database next we should be also sending the same payload to who to inform the covid case to the world health organization right Whereas, once we inserted into the UHO database, we don't have this payload available. Then how we can send it to the next system connector? For that purpose, we need to hold this payload into a variable so that the variable can be available after this database connector. By using the variable, we can send the corresponding payload to the another target system let me do that once we receive the request let's drag and drop a set variable and create the variable as covid payload we always should choose proper names for the variables and give the value as payload so that the payload will be injected into this variable will be available across the flow so let's save it let the application get deployed the application has deployed let's go ahead and make the request request came if i look at the variables right so i had a toggle breakpoint here and we look at payload we have payload available and we look at variables right under variables we see covid payload variable as created if i say next and next so before execution of this database call still our payload is available if i say next we see we lost the payload and the payload overrided with the database outcome and if we want this incoming payload further after the database call we can make use from the particular variable if i say vars dot covid payload it is giving us the incoming payload from the variable and even 
if i wanted to get a particular field from this payload we can do that so i can write as vars dot covid payload dot source evaluate it is giving us the particular field value so these variables can be available across the flow until the flow execution completed so this is the reason we make use of variables in mule flow but here we can get a question right why can't the logger connector set variable is not overriding the payload the reason is the logger connector and set variable connector will never override the payload since it is not returning something right as a outcome that's all about this session thank you happy learning